You've got a startup and you need money, but to get it, you'll have to impress someone like me. Okay, Burn Note, platform for ephemeral messaging, launched in New York in 2012. Friends and family investing so far, but looking to raise money in a few months. And uh, founder is Jacob Robbins. Let's go meet him. Jacob, great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So what's the pitch on this? BurnNote is an ephemeral messaging platform. Ephemeral messaging is a new type of messaging where every message is automatically deleted using a timer that starts when the recipient opens it. BurnNote's good for having conversations about sensitive topics, like asking a friend for advice on a business negotiation, or telling your coworker to cover for you if you locked your keys in your car, or even just telling your girlfriend that you missed her. It works kind of like email or SMS, where you have contacts and conversations with those contacts, but every message is deleted, so it makes it as private as talking to someone in person. What was it that let the light bulb go off and gave you this great idea? Back in 2011, I was working on a project with somebody who was on the West Coast, and I needed to send him the password to a server that we were working on. So I had this idea, oh hey, what if I could make a site where you could create a message, get a link, the message is deleted when the recipient reads it. What kind of competition do you have right now? Um, it's a relatively new space, so the biggest competition is really just getting people aware that this technology exists. You started this off as a HTML5-based website, but apparently you're going to have an app application as well, right? Actually, uh, it's very exciting. We just launched apps last week for iOS and Android. Um, but the site has been available since January 2012. So have you raised money for this so far? Uh, so far it's been funded by friends and family, uh, but we're looking to do an angel round in the early fall. Thinking about all of this, uh, what are the legal implications for you as a company, for people who are using it, uh, or are there none? Um, for regular users, it's really up to them to use it. The one caveat is that in some publicly traded companies, there's regulatory uh, requirements around maintaining paper trails for certain types of conversations. Uh, I don't actually know all the legal details about it, but basically people who have a legal obligation to keep a record of their messages can't use BurnNote in those situations. How fast does the message essentially disappear? Well, the messages remain for up to 30 days if they're not opened. As soon as the recipient opens them, a timer starts which will automatically delete the message when it runs out. It deletes it both from the sender and recipient's devices and also from the server. When you say there's a, a timer, does the user of the service set the time frame? Uh, we found that it's best to have the length of the timer automatically scale up with the length of the message that the sender is setting. But also, uh, senders can go into the message options and manually set a timer if they want to. I love the concept, like everything you're doing. But what I haven't figured out, how do you make money from this? We believe there's a strong potential for a premium services model here, where the current product is free, but as we build out more and more features and additional security features, those would be available to people with a paid subscription. So what do you think? Would you invest in BurnNote? Do you have a startup and are looking for investors? If you'd like to be on Elevator Pitch, contact me at this address.